welcome back to my channel so in today's video um, I'm gonna be sharing with you our trip to Cancun so if you know us you probably know that this is not like our first trip to Cancun but this time we had a spectacular time and I just want to share a little bit with you about what we did on our trip how it went so I'm gonna just jump into it in case you were considering going to Cancun before every trip, we just start off with a little word of prayer and I just dropped that in the car and he was praying so I just went on with it and yeah, we just commit our trip into the Lord's hands and that he did. I mean, it was such an amazing time. So we went to the airport and um, usually we just park and drive because it's just an easier way. Especially we find that on our way back, we don't have to like wait on the Uber. We stopped by the launch and before you knew it, we were in Cancun, Mexico. So here in Mexico, we had we stayed at the Coral level um, and that selection. So this specific hotel, the Ibero Star, has two components to it. There's the family side where it's like all inclusive. You can be there with your kids. Then there's the all adult side. So as you can see, here's just the front of the hotel. And it was so large that a golf cart pretty much had to take us around. So this is the um, um, other side of the resort this is the family style it has the gift shop it has like a lot of different plays over to the left is the movie theater that you can come and watch a movie basically in a hut but basically we stayed on the adult only side so we didn't use a lot of the amenities on this side but we had the option to use the amenities on this side whereas the people on this side couldn't use the all um adult amenities so um yeah that's a little bit about the setup of the hotel here's a little bit of the scenery from the hotel there's a lot of palm trees there's a lot of water but then on the back of the hotel you have a lot of huts you have a lot of beaches you have the blue waters and yeah i'm gonna there goes the kid but this is the kind of the marker of where it's like the adult side versus the um the family oriented side so we stay over here um which is like past the sign and being a little bit more towards the adult side but there's a lot of amenities we were super excited when we first saw the ocean because i mean we've seen water and we've seen blue waters but seeing the water separation like the deep blue the light blue that does something for me i don't know what it is about water but it just gets me so excited when i'm like looking at water so upon arrival we did get um um hand towels but they were not warm they were actually cool which made sense because It was a hotter climate, so the cool towels made sense. But let's just take a moment to savor the flavor of this lobby. I mean, this is seen every day with a nice scent. And a little bit about our room. We had a double vanity, which I loved. And yeah, sorry, I was toying with the lights a little bit. But here's what the bathroom looks like. Double vanity, double mirror. And over there's the um, toilet. And then you have the shower on that side we had a, um, a king size bed and there was a little bit division where you had like a living area it had a desk but on our balcony was when all the cool stuff were happening we had the beautiful view of the ocean we had a beautiful view of the pool and just it was really a sight we dropped off our stuff at the hotel and then we headed to the mall. We just wanted to check, um, get that out the way because my husband was eager to go to the mall. And so we stopped by there, looked at a few stores. They had um, a Zara, which here at Charlotte, South Carolina area. We were pretty jealous because we don't have a Zara and it kind of sucks. But yeah, then after that, we pretty much came back to the hotel. We looked around and this is a little bit of the um, how it looks like from the back. So. Over here on the right hand side, you're looking at the adults only portion of it. And then the other side was um, kind of the family side. But this is a better view of the place. Um, that's the pool that overlooks kind of the ocean. When you're in the pool, it's definitely an infinity pool feel. But there is that separation when you're like looking up at it. So yeah, that is the view, something I can never get tired of. I think I would go back <laughs> anytime. Just let me know when, let me know where. Um, a little bit about transportation when we got there. There's really one main road that goes one way and then opposite the kind of divider, it goes the other way. So there were bus systems in place. 
um, the R1 and the R2 buses were the bus that kind of ran parallel to each other so it was a dollar to get on the bus and if you get on you can pretty much get off wherever you want and it's really one way in one way out even if you took a cab which we did in this take you would still be using that same road so if you are taking a cab it's really because for your convenience maybe you have a lot of things with you maybe you feel safer but it, other than that there aren't any real other roads that lead to other places so your best bet is to get on the bus if you're comfortable um just taking the bus again the r1 and the r2 run parallel to each other and a cab um i want to say we went like 10 minutes away and the cab was 15 dollars 15 us dollars to get back which kind of sucked because we were like we should have just taken the bus but we had shopped and we were like a little paranoid but it didn't even matter because we ended up taking the bus when they told us $15 and it was perfectly fine and we felt safe. Another thing we did on one of the days was that we went on a boat, we chartered a boat and Jeff did this through an app. I think I can list it down in the bottom, I'll double check with him but we chartered a boat and basically went out to the sea. We told him we wanted to go to the bluest part of the ocean. Initially, we wanted to go to Isla Mujeres, but we've been there before, so we decided to just go see the blue waters and do some activities on it. That was really fun, and just kind of cruise on the boat. I was having a good old time. I didn't really do much swimming, because I was kind of tired from the day before, but Jeff went on the jet skis. Um, I went on it with him at a point. I'm the one recording. Please do not try this at home. I had a phone case, a protector, and I was sitting behind him and like literally holding him with one hand. But he was moving at a decent pace for me to do this. But yeah, things we do for the gram. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, it was a good overall experience. This was our view. I kind of set out the video to time lapse and this was like this beautiful capture of the sunrise i believe the sunrise yep and this was like the ocean waves and this was our view like every morning for five days i mean it was really like a feel good time and yeah i don't know how anybody can get tired of this but i can see how because i used to live in new york and people said the same thing about new york but not the ocean so most times we had breakfast downstairs just because there's more variety but um, one of the days we ordered room service because I mean why not and I was pretty tired from the day before so we grabbed some food um, we called in there's an app you scan and you can basically choose whatever food you want served to your room we ordered some eggs some breakfasty stuff some croissants and some fruits and yeah, we just sat on the balcony and ate. And as good as that looks, eventually it got hot and we moved the food inside. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And another thing was, it was pretty quiet around this time of year, which is September. It was, this is what it looked like in the morning. People weren't really out and there weren't really that much people at the resort. And I'm not sure why, but it was a quiet time for us. And I think we decided on this trip that if there is the best time to travel to see Cancun, it is this time because I think there aren't that many people and we were able to like make it to all the right places without it being too crowded. But if you are one of those people who travel because you want to like hang out with people and see other people, meet new people, then September is probably not the time for you. So one of the things we got was a massage on the beach and this I was looking forward to so much but I ended up being so disappointed. I mean it really felt more like a exfoliation session because the beach sand kept cutting and the oils and then her massaging me with it was like it felt a bit rough and yeah I wouldn't recommend but it was down and one of those bucket list items that I was just happy to have done. This day I believe we were heading out to um yeah we went to town we had seen enough of the <laughs> resort and we decided to check out Crab House and this is basically like one of the restaurants on the strip. I was like if the waters are the if the waters are this blue then the food must be real good that was my assumption so we came down here the atmosphere and the vibe was really nice this was around noon so it wasn't that many people there but we had our food it came with like a little cheese um dip and some croissant and that was pretty nice they showed this to us and it's basically the catch of the day and what they have that's actually live meat we ended up opting out for some kelp we ended up opting out for some calamari and some dip. This was really good. Um, the texture was a little bit different than I anticipated. 
and then I got a seafood platter and Jeff got like bacon wrapped shrimps with bacon wrapped shrimps with um, I think like crab in it it was pretty good um, I wouldn't say it was anything to write home about honestly it was just good seafood and quite honestly in my opinion it was overpriced the only like nice thing was that they gave us like something to wash our hands with but <laughs> the scenery was nice the people were nice the price not so nice but that's not that's me I don't think it's necessary to pay that much for seafood and we just decided that it made sense to just eat at the resort um, just because we weren't really wowed by the place we, that had such high ratings and the food at the resort was actually really good in my opinion. There's a lot of options, it tasted fresh, it tasted good. Um, I thought like for a generic place like this, the food would be bad, but it was, it exceeded my expectations and I was pleased with the food, I can say that for sure. So yeah, on our last day, we just got breakfast, checked out the views. This was where we sat for breakfast when we didn't have it upstairs. And then, yeah, that was pretty much it for the rest of the trip. We enjoyed it. We had a good time. The place is a bureau star, and I'll put all the information down in um, the link below. But um, a few pros. Pros is that it was had great food, amazing views, and there's always something to do. There was a lot of activities going on. There was like exercise in the pool, yoga on the beach. Like there would always be activities for you to do. And if you're the kind of person that just likes to chill and hang out, you have the options. One of the things I like about Cancun is that they have a lot of different airports. I mean, airlines coming in, so they have international flights, local flights. I thought the airport was pretty organized. Going in, we didn't have to wear a mask, but um, coming back to the US, we did have to wear a mask. I was still hungry, so I went to go grab um, some sushi tequila. And um, yeah, this food was actually amazing for airport food. And again, it's to, um, sushi tequila. And yeah, that was pretty much our trip to Mexico. And I finally tried one of those things where you like record like a time lapse. So excited about that but if you enjoyed watching this video um please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye